Life's better here. I'm here at Registry in downtown Toledo. A big thanks to Jordan from Columbus for the nomination. I'm here with Chef Erica. Hi, Hi how are you? Good. <laughs> thanks for having me. We've heard a lot about this restaurant and what a talented chef you are. So, oh, thank you. Of course, let's go ahead in the kitchen and see what you got. Okay, that's okay. good. <laughs> So we're starting with the trout. We're starting with the trout, and I like to serve it with the skin on because I like the skin to be really crispy, almost like a potato chip. So it goes into the pan skin side down in hot oil. You want to hear that sizzle when it hits the pan, and when I put it in, you're going to see that it's kind of tighten up, um, the meat, the flesh tighten up a little bit. You start to see it get kind of color, um, the color lighten around the edges. Right. I'm going to pop it in the oven. All right. And then while that's happening, I'm gonna start working with the other components of the dish. So right now, this is um, grilled onions and um, the guanciale. Right. So these are fingerling potatoes, which are just um, roasted beforehand with the skins on, they're roasted whole, and then we cut them up and leave the skin on the potatoes. Okay. So I'm gonna put the fiddlehead ferns in, which if you don't have, it, these are difficult to find. If you can't find those, um, green beans work, asparagus works. We're gonna throw some raw mushrooms in. And then this is Swiss chard. It's kind of like um, a spinach, but it's a bit heartier than a spinach. Mm -hmm. It's got the red stem. It does have a red stem. So that's gonna give it a little bit of crunch and a little bit of uh -huh. freshness. We're just gonna let this cook for a second. Okay. See, by this point, Ooh. it's already... So it's, now it's pretty pink. much light pink. Yep, it's a light pink. Oh, no sticking. No sticking at all. Great job. The skin is super crispy. Uh -huh. It's going to stay off the heat, and the, uh, the heat from the pan is just going to finish it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is actually take this out. And in the pan where we made the fish, I'm going to make the sauce. So it's going to take a couple of tabs of whole butter. And I'm going to let the butter brown a little bit. So we're going to put a little bit of this down. It's going to be the bed of the fish. Layer it up. At this point, I'm gonna throw in some um, hazelnuts and cool it off with a little bit of lemon juice. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then we'll just spoon the sauce right over the top of the fish. Oh, wow. So. So dig in. It's time to eat it's time here. To eat. <laughs> yes, all your hard work. I am most excited for this. Excellent. Amazing. It really is. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed mm. it. Do you feel like you're camping? It does. Good. To summarize it all, I would say fresh, really unique items, but they all just kind of work together and it's, it's delicious. Thank you so much, Kim. Oh, Thank good. you so much for just coming in today and visiting our kitchen. Of course. Well, you. I'll be back, I promise. I look forward to it. <laughs> and don't forget to visit my Facebook page to vote for your favorite local dishes for life tastes better here.